So I'm with Kent Smith. Um, he's part of the group that they're putting on the uh, uh, the gathering at Moon Lake. The, I call it the Treasure Hunters Rendezvous. Um, but uh, Kent's a wealth of knowledge, especially in that area where we're having this this uh, gathering. And so tell me a great story about the area where we're going to be holding this event. Kent, tell me a story. All right. The event's going to be in Aldermont, and uh, not far from there is a a very, very small town called Bluebell, unincorporated, and um, I'm going to share with you a story that was uh, given to me <coughs> years ago by my scoutmaster when I was a boy scout, and he told to me a couple of times, he's been dead for years now, but uh, when he was a young man, he was living, uh, his family was living with his grandmother, and that was in Bluebell, and um, <coughs> so... Uh, one of the last Ute Indian chiefs was buried real close to Bluebell, and, and they knew where that was at. And so uh, he decided that he was going to uh, uh, go to where this burial was with this uh, Indian chief, which he did. And he came back to the house. He was like 12 years old or something at the time. And he, he had the Indian chief was buried with his ceremonial clothing on, which is typically the case. And his ceremonial clothing, he had a vest <clears throat> that he was wearing that was made out of hundreds of Spanish gold coins from when the Spanish were in the area. Um, so he went to the burial, got all these gold coins and brought them home and showed them to his grandmother and his and his parents and the grandmother was livid and uh, not just because he'd been uh, taken uh, burial objects and that but uh, the story was that the chief had died of something like bubonic plague or something along that line of course back in in those days uh, could have been, they could have called it consumption or whatever but some type of a terrible disease supposedly that the chief had died from and she was sure that the family would all get this disease from him bringing those coins home and so she took all the coins away from him and threw them in the fireplace and uh, <clears throat> And it gave him a good scolding of that. And he says it wasn't until many years later, uh, he was living in Vernal, and, uh, which again is, is uh, maybe 60 miles from, from where we're going to be having this uh, gathering, but uh, uh, living in Vernal with his wife and family and that. And he decided that he was going to go back to his grandmother's homestead in Bluebell and get these gold coins. So he went back to the old homestead site, which was uh, some of the brick chimney was left and some of the stone foundation was left. And that was pretty much it. And But he went back and he went to the fireplace and that to, to find these gold coins and they were all gone. Somebody else had, whether they were metal detecting or whatever they were doing, somebody else had gone through it apparently and found the gold coins and had taken them all. But but uh, that's, that's another good treasure story right there in Bluebell is there was uh, hundreds of gold coins in Grandma's fireplace till somebody found that and took it. With that said, Kent, thank you. That's a wrap.